in this one we're going to work on actually making our uh, low ready fire so to speak so when we're firing from the hip so currently we have our high ready right here where we're aiming down the sights i don't know why i keep calling it high ready just start aiming so what i'm going to do is select my hand armature gonna unlink the action and go to new call this one 1911 uh fire hip that work currently our pistol action is still playing because i have not unlinked it and i'm not going to because i want it to play for when we build the animation so what i want to do is go into rest mode or pose mode and select our rest pose for our armature on the hand in the arms and click this little eyeglass and it'll take us back to our little rest pose here roughly where we had it of course i don't have any the uh, animation from the hip anymore, but it is what it is. So we're going to try to recreate it. So let's see. Frame two, hammer drops. So we're going to link this up on frame one. Let's see. Apply the location rotation. Hammer drops, slide starts to come back on frame three, so that's where we're going to try to do our initial building from. So I want to actually give some cant. To it for the start. Actually, let me see what the where am I even at? Still idle. Wish I can just view it in here. We have a little bit of a cant. I'm gonna pause it. So that's what it looks like. Let's try to match that up. That's actually surprisingly close. So I'm gonna leave it. So we have it set up. It's canted. And I forgot to keyframe it. There we go. So I'm going to grab this bone, go to the right side view. That's where the slide starts to come back. So I'm going to rotate. I'm going to start on the local axis. Do that quick little rotate. So I want to copy this, put it at frame two. So hammer drops. We're going to have that initial jolt. Then we're going to kind of absorb it. In frame four. Keep it coming back on frame five. I kind of like that. It's got that little pop to it. Then frame six, the slide closes. So I'm going to go to frame seven. Actually, frame seven, I'm simply going to rotate the wrist forward a bit. So on the y-axis, and apply location rotation. Now as the slide slams home, it's going to give us that initial little push to make it feel like the pistol actually has some weight to it. Copy this frame, put it at seven. Move these over one. And slowly move this back so it keeps the flow.
in on frame 10. Yes, slowly start rotating down. Forward just a touch. Then I'm going to copy first frame and paste it at 13. I kind of like that. We're not going to really have any sort of go into any much well, much more detail. I would like to have this so after the shot's over and we come back to our pose right here, have the front drop, drop just a little bit and then come back up so it kind of gives it a little bit more of a weighty feel, but it's not too big of a deal. So we have our, our hip pose. Let's go to object mode. We're going to export this. Make sure the armature is selected. Go to our character folder. Go this one. This is ADS Fire. This one's Fire Hip. Make sure everything's set. Good to go. And export. Drag this in. Select skeleton. Where in the world is it? Has it shrunk? Why in the world is the scale at a thousand? Scales at 100. What in the world? I might have the import settings messed up, as well as Unreal Engine just froze. Sweet. There we go. And so fire hip. Oh, that was part of the reason I started the editor playing. But he's a tad big. So I think I might have messed up my uh, import settings. Ah, my scale is set to 100. Set it back to 1. And import. There we go. So now we have the firing from the hip animation. And it's imported and good to go. And so I'm going to leave this here. And in the next one, we'll incorporate it into our animation montage and set ourselves up to choose between which animation we're going to be playing, whether or not we're aiming or firing from the hip, as well as be able to blend between them. So I'll see you in that one.